Hello. This is This Morning Vision. On today's show, legendary TV presenter Philip Schofield finally achieves his lifelong dream of sitting on the sofa next to me. Good Lord, I never imagined for a moment. On the day of the US elections 2016, Philip Schofield's in the studio telling us what he thinks about Donald Trump. It's just bluster and bullshit. In today's quiz, your chance to win Alison Hammond for a year. All you have to do is answer this question. Who is Philip Schofield talking about? She just became nasty wicked and cruel. We get a very special behind the scenes tour of the This Morning set with Philip Schofield. <laughs> Quite a show. And this. Five, six, seven. I thought we'd start with the basics. If you're going to be a breakfast show presenter, uh, the first thing you have to do is learn how to sit on a sofa. They do not very small. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Shall I move back a bit? How have I got so small? They're not that different in size. This is not, no. not an easy one. You're it's... probably one of the world's best sofa sitters. This might be better. Is that, is that, I, I oh, you see, look, already. Not, already, every sofa has its own personality. You, you still look so much taller than me, which is peculiar. Maybe, it, maybe it's because I am taller than you. Well, only a bit. Well, how tall well, are you? I'm, I'm six foot two. Well, I'm, I'm just a shade under six foot, so you're two inches taller than me. It must That's be my hair. That's more than two inches. I think it's my quiff. You look at least sort of six inches higher than I am. Don't obsess, don't obsess I am, about I am, it. It's I okay. Know, it's, it's... Can I call you Pip Scofy? Call me what you like. Has anyone ever called you that before? Pip, quite a few times. You don't get many people going, Oi, Pip, you banker. So no. you know, that doesn't happen very often. You what know, do they say? Quite nice. You know, they say so. Philip, you wanker. Yeah, normally. Are we uh, uh, allowed to have a little look around your There's not much to dressing see. room? Let's just move it around here. Yeah. So very. Uh, yep. Yeah, there you are. Good. I've been in that shower twice ever. You've only ever showered in this last twice. Week. It's Definitely. very clean. It is very clean. And what's this secret door here? That's the loo. I don't know. Is it very interesting? No, oh, it's just a loo. Were you expecting, you know, that there would be? Well, well I don't know what celebrity toilets look like. Flowers. You see. They really do all look. Like that. So we're settling in well and I thought, let's play a little game with Philip Schofield because he likes a laugh, right? So I thought, let's play the 2P game, which is, if you don't know, you basically stick a 2P piece on your head, then you hit the back of your head, see how many times you can do that before the 2P piece falls off, and then you put the 2P piece on someone else's head, uh, but you actually take it off, but they think it's still there, so they're basically doing that on their head for ages. It's a really funny trick. Um, Normally, is this the kind of highbrow so you lick it you're and expecting? Then stick it on my head. I'll lick it on my head first, see how many times I can do. Right. And then we have to see how many you can do. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Okay, right. One, two. We'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. First, though, interesting question Is there anyone that Philip Schofield thinks he couldn't present this morning with? There are some that I would balk at, I think. Um, I did a, a show called Testination with Anne Robinson, who, who um, on that show was fabulous. But, um, but I can't. I think it would be, it would be a, a tricky clash of personalities if we were to do mm. something like this. Why well, is that? Because you've both got kind of quite a, a sharp interviewing style. We're just very different people. We just we just operate in different ways, mm. and uh, and that's not to say either one is right or wrong. But we operate in different ways. Uh, yes, Katie Hopkins kind of rose to fame really on this morning, uh, giving loads of controversial opinions and people got very angry about a lot of the stuff that she was saying. Uh, she's now writing for the Daily Mail newspaper. But we haven't seen her on this morning on the couch with Holly and Philip for ages and I wanted to ask why. She was terrific and she was very funny um, and then she stopped being funny and then she just became nasty and wicked and cruel and then we didn't have her anymore. Was that a decision that you were involved with? Yeah. Those sharp edges began to, I think, quite severely cut people, and I think that's unnecessary. Three, four. As a discussion in a, in a group, uh, we said, is this, is this as funny as it was? You know, the kids' name stuff and the Chardonnay and all that sort of thing. Yeah. That was all really funny, and a lot of things were being said that, uh, that Katie knew was, um, you know, other people were thinking but didn't have the guts to say it, and that's yeah. all great. But then you get mean, and then and then it's just not for us. And it wasn't a case of saying, right, she's banned. There was no there was no anger after the mm. items. 
but for her to say what she says in the way that she says it and stick her head above the parapet in that way, you've got to have quite a thick skin. She speaks her mind whether you agree or you disagree, and, and, and mm. increasingly, obviously, I, I disagree quite vehemently with what she has to say. Interesting. Well, today is election day in the United States of America, the 8th of November 2016, and uh, yeah, they're going to the polls today. Will they choose Hillary Clinton? Or Donald Trump? <sighs> Racism. If Philip Schofield were American, which would he vote for? I'm wearing my blue Democrats t-shirt in support of Hillary. Uh, she needs all the support she can get, including a Zimmer frame. But if that's what it takes to get her into that house, then so be it. What's it called again? White. It's a big white house. I'm gonna make the assumption that you're not a massive fan of Donald Trump. I think he's a f What? Yeah, I thought he was going to say that too, but no. Fabulous character. Fascinating to watch. Incredible television. It is, without question, going to be one of the greatest catastrophes to strike our planet should he be president. The thing is also with him is it's just bluster and bullshit because he has, there are no firm policies. He said nothing of any substance whatsoever. Five, six, Seven. Hillary Clinton has a very, very, very bad fractious relationship with Russia and there's a lot of uh, tension between the United States and the West with Russia over Syria and uh, the Ukraine and it was occurred to me that actually in a funny way Trump might avert Third World War. Yeah, but we don't... Oh, I'm not worried about Third World War. I, I just wonder whether Trump might be, in a weird way, more of a peacemaker than Hillary Clinton. But at least she's been Foreign Secretary. At least, you know, at least this is someone who has some experience on the world stage. There is a political system, a buffer system, which prevents all madness from being let loose and unleashed. Talking about all political madness being let loose and unleashed? Brexit. Mm -hmm. I'd be very careful what I say here. You know, regardless of in or out, and I certainly won't come down on either side of, uh, of uh, the fence on that one, whichever government, whether it was a blue one or a red one, a yellow one, a green one or whatever, I would not want to have to unpick our relationship with Europe. Eight, nine, ten. The sense of confusion that frustrates you. Not necessarily the confusion, it's the, it's the, um, no shit. Oh, is that what, what's happened? Well, did you think that that was going to happen? Did you ever say, oh, good lord, no, I never imagined for a moment. So that, I think, you know, if you're going to lead us down a specific path, you yeah, at least have some sort of really cracking idea, mm. uh, depending on, you know, which road we take. Okay, finally, um, let's just do it. This is the most embarrassed I've ever, ever, ever been in my career as a journalist, in my time as a presenter. I was quite nervous going there, and just this mental thought came into my head. Let's play the 2P game. Here's what happened. Okay, right. I'm actually quite good at this. Did you never play this at, like, when you were a kid? No. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 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 Right, ready? Your turn? Okay. Sorry to lick it. Uh, sorry well, to lick as it. As I said, I've got show makeup on, so I can't imagine it's gonna work. Okay. Hold still though. Okay. Relax. Yeah. Oh, one sec. Is it happening? Oh, that's not gonna happen, is it? Oh, sorry. Okay, it's it, it's it. This is a very peculiar way to spend an afternoon. Oh, shit. Yeah, I told you. Okay, all right, one sec. Can you feel it? Can I feel what? The TP. Is it on? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. No, it's not. There's no TP on my head. <laughs> <laughs> it failed. I'm supposed to fall for this, am I? Yeah. Normally it feels like the TP's on there. I mean, really? you're just going like that. Do you know what would be, I mean, I love to give people hints and help them with uh, future, any future stuff that they may be doing. <laughs> yeah. There's a massive great mirror over there. Yeah, I did kind of think that halfway through. <laughs> But it was okay because Philip Schofield's lovely. He even offered at the end of the interview to give us a special behind the scenes tour of the This Morning set. This is the quick five minute This Morning tour out of my dressing room. That's where we get made up in the morning, but that's obviously now 
Closed. That's wardrobe. <laughs> that's wardrobe costume. That's closed. closed. Show you where the other stuff is closed. Uh, that's Holly's dressing room. That's closed. This is our guest makeup room. Hiya, hiya, hiya. hiya. Hello. Hello. Are you a makeup Hi. artist? I am, yes. And a very good one. Look what's this here. Fashion department. These are spillover from the incredibly busy fashion department. Two guest dressing rooms. This is our uh, green room. At the end of every show, we come in here and we have our meeting. How did the show go? What did we think? Is there anything we could learn from that so it's sort of a rolling thing that's our crew green room cool and then, um, so that's uh so if people call in this is where they get through to do you still come into work every day and think i can't believe no, I, I get to I do this or? Uh, no no it would be hard because i've been doing it for sort of 30 odd years now so i think to think I can't believe. There are times when I think I can't believe I'm doing this. Mm. Obviously, not every day. People don't always realise, I suppose, how much hard work there is in the background to get here. Oh, it makes me laugh because everyone thinks it's glamorous. You know, there's very, <laughs> there's not a lot of glamour. There's a lot of waiting around. There's a lot of, um, you know, a lot of meetings. That's vision control, and this is the studio. Yeah, that's why we use this one as well. Yeah. So you pass it through. It's quite spacious, actually, isn't it? Yeah, there were sort of fake windows in front of the real windows and then we said well what's the point in having fake windows making the real windows small let's open it all up then Paul's just over there you watch the barges go by um, and then there is the South Bank wandering past and the, and the sad thing is they can't see us this is a really clever glass here it's called Roscoe and depending on whether it's light or dark they can make this glass light or dark, so it can change in its um, in how much light it lets through. Occasionally, pe you know, people stand there and, and try and wave, and we 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 started, you know, waving like fools, and then you <laughs> they can't see us, Holly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for giving us a talk. You are more than welcome. Um, it's funny, isn't it? Yeah, that, you know, one of the most famous studios in uh, in Britain. After the show. All goes quiet, close it all down. Yeah. Till the next day. Thank you very, very much for giving us your time. It's a pleasure. I think it would be sensible to subscribe to Andy Vision, a vision of the future.